I'm on the outfield, but in front of the West Indies team dressing room, and I'm standing amongst the stars. First, uh, let me tell you who are present for this little ceremony that we're going to have. The West Indies team is all out in their numbers here. I've also uh, have the vice president of Cricket West Indies, Dr. Kishore Shallow. We've got the man of the moment, Kimar Roach, who would have picked up his 250th test match wickets, and the legend, my co-commentator, Sir Kirtley Ambrose, as well. There are a few presentations to be made. I know the first one is from Cricket West Indies and represented by the vice president himself, Dr. Kishore Shallow, would like to say a few words and make this presentation. Thank you, Darren. Um, you know, I think it was about 2009. Um, I was introduced to Kima by a mutual friend, Cork Edwards. And then, you know, Cork told me, Kish, this young man is going to be a special and he's going to be a legend. And to see that as manifested and to see Kima years after has gone on and really excelled at the international level to 250 plus wickets, you know, is really commendable and impressive. And on behalf of Cricket West Indies, the president, Ricky Skerritt, the board management and the entire region, I just want to present him with this plaque, this plaque to say congratulations, Kima, and all the very best. Thank you very much. What a wonderful gesture coming from Cricket West Indies as the organization celebrates one of its own. And we'll now move to Sir Kurt Lee Ambrose, who has a special presentation to also make. Sir Kurt Lee, you can take over, do the honors. And I know you would like to say a few words as well. So let's first see what you have to present to Kima Roach. As mentioned, congratulations all around for him getting his 250th test match wicket. 252 at the moment, and he continues to shine brightly. And Sir Kurt Lee, well, first of all, Kima, I got a couple of things to say to you. But before I get there, I just want to say congratulations. 250 test wickets is a nice milestone. You've worked hard for many years, and I'm really, really happy for you. Now, what I want to say is two things. One, you're a few wickets short of your fellow Barbadian, Joel Ghana. Once you get past him, you move to fifth position, and then... 300 is the next milestone. So make sure you play long enough to get the 300. And I will be here to present you again. Do we have a deal? Deal. 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 Good. Congratulations again. <laughs> Wonderful from the legend himself, Sir Kirtley Ambrose. Sir Kirtley, of course, with 405 test match wickets. And as he mentioned, Kima Roach sits in that sixth position on the list of the leading wicket takers by West Indians uh, in Test Match Cricket. Kima, we'll have a chat with uh, Kima Roach. Uh, yeah. Kima, I'll allow you to, to have those presentations resonate. I, I want to ask you, in the first innings, of course, everyone was looking forward to you going past, you know, Michael Holding and getting to that 250 landmark. What was going through your mind at the end of that innings when you went wicketless? Um, yeah, a little pressure, obviously. You want to do it as early as possible, but I've had my struggles in getting to that landmark. For the 100th wicket, it took a little while as well. Obviously, for the 200th wicket in England, it took a little while to get there as well. So I know it's going to be a little bit tough mentally, but just got to stay calm and just get the job done. And I did that brilliantly in the second innings. Second innings, you got that elusive wicket. Right, finding the outside edge of Tamanik Bal. Describe your emotions when that moment occurred. Um, it's good, man. Good elation. Um, pretty happy, pretty proud to go to 250s. A lot of hard work, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, as I said on the last test match. Um, my body has changed, obviously, injuries, a lot of things have gone um, a little bit sideways. But to come back strong, to, to be able to get that landmark is a good feeling. Everyone's proud of me, my fans are following me, and my family is following me, the guys here. It's a good feeling, man. It's really emotional for me last night. So, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm just still sinking it in. Let me, let me take you down memory lane. I don't know if you remember your first test match wicket back in 2009. Yeah, it was Sh Shaq Eve, yes. Right. How does that experience compare to you getting 250 wickets in test match cricket? Um, it's similar, similar, obviously. The conditions they played test cricket under was very tough. Um, came into a series under some very hard conditions and to get my first test wicket, obviously, this is amazing. Never thought of playing test cricket so early, but obviously, to get that early was obviously a good feeling. And then, obviously, 250, it's probably the same feeling, man. All the emotions, as I said, and 
I'm looking to go 300, as Mr. Ambrose said. Kurt. I don't, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I, I must say that we've all heard of uh, Michael Holding and his message to you. Are there any others who would have sent congratulations to you that you would have hold dearly to, to your heart, given what you have accomplished? Yeah, my coaches, um, Mr. Richard Straker, my first ever coach at um, primary school level, um, my school coach, uh, Peter Vaughan, um, he taught me a lot. And obviously my biggest mentor, Corey Collimore. Some good messages last night came through, um, some good chats. And as I said, it was all emotions. Everything came out last night. So I'm just trying to take it all in now and just live in the moment. Well, congratulations again and all the very best for the rest of this test match. Thank you. Greetings.